Quick 27 and welcome back to Rule the Waves 3, where we continue in our efforts to make the Spanish Empire great. Uh, again, still, I don't know, pick your time frame. Uh, so far, those endeavors have been somewhat thwarted uh, by, the, by, the, by the game engine. So we've had four wars now against Germany, against Austro-Hungary, uh, against... Maybe just three against Italy and America. Yeah, maybe just three wars. Um, two of which have resulted in uh, peace deals for no gains. For Germany one, was uh, we were winning, but peaced out for nothing. For Austro-Hungary one, we did take some war reps. Um, and then the Italian-American one was peaced out for no gain as well. So a little bit frustrated, but c'est la vie. Uh, so we're still kind of almost at that square one position. We're still trying to advance and big in our empire. Uh, war reps would probably be the best way to improve our economy, but I would quite like to spread my flag around as well, because that's what I like to do in this game. Uh, and so we're kind of gearing up to try and, you know, manage our meagre funds to improve our navy, as well as look for potentially the next target, which we've talked about before. And I, th I would really like to tussle with China, because that should be a war we can easily win. So that's where we are. Uh, two things I wanted to briefly touch upon. Uh, so if we have a look at the, these are our original battleships or ironclads, pre-dreadnoughts, call them what you will. And these are the ones which blew up uh, through the six inch shells. And and it was mentioned in the in the comments, but I didn't actually pick up on it when I first looked at these designs. Was It's indeed they have absolutely no turret top armor at all. So any plunging shell hit on your turrets is just going to go straight through. Uh, which, as we see, has fairly disastrous consequences uh, for blowing up ships and generally uh, having a bad time. So, interesting AI design there for our pre-dreadnoughts. Obviously, for our new ones, these Alejandro the uh, not a problem that we're going to have. We've got two and a half inches for our turret top, so, you know, something a little bit more respectable. The other thing which was pointed out to me, which is uh, I hadn't picked up in, in the kind of uh, description of the game, or nor in the, the having played around with it myself, was the ability, as you see here, to position turrets uh, when you're building them. So you can click on position turret, and then you can just move it, and you don't have to do the pain I did last time on my destroyer design for worrying about where things are going to sit so they look right. Um, well, I am curious, though, if I show turret arcs, does that change when I position it? It does change when I position it. Okay. Good to know. Um, but yeah, so that's a lot easier for moving your turrets around, and something I will use in the future, so appreciate it being pointed out to me as well. Ah, well, I wanted to share it. Um, fine and dandy. Uh, so we're probably just going to progress time. We've got obviously money kind of invested at the minute in terms of uh, one more Alejandro because we've got a discount. Um, I'm in our new destroyers which will be coming in a fair few months and then we can look to where we want to go next. As I said, I'm still uh, still probably feeling light on the, on the cruisers so we might look to, to spread that out a little bit. Uh, but we'll also see what tech kind of crops up in the in the interim as well. So without further ado, let's advance a little bit of time and see where we get up to. Uh, okay, almost tech on the way. I will take that. Um, oh, the other thing I was thinking about, which I don't know if I've changed, um, is our doctrine and training. Why can I not change the damage control one? So I was I was tempted to come off damage control and go on to torpedo warfare. Mm, so if I do this, it's going to take essentially a year to come back, but I don't seem to have the ability to change the damage control one without it. I probably would like to go gunnery and torpedo warfare. Which damage control is nice, but given that we're going to lose more and more capability to do our own manual torpedoing, which is by far and away the most effective way to repeating, but it's also maybe a little bit cheesy. Um, and be more reliant on our destroyer squadrons, then I would like them to be a bit more focused on that. So let's do that. Okay, so we'll go forward next month. Um, Captain Vara Del Rey, who's average, aggressive, overstrained the engines. Came off the hook for some prestige. I mean, I have no particular attraction to Vara Del Rey. Uh, although he is, he is at least competent, and uh, maybe more of it can be said for the rest of my officer corps. But no, let's get him. Failure is not acceptable. Um, in terms of our officer corps, how are we for kind of ability? 
Lots of unknown. Okay, we're starting to get a reasonable number of above average captains. I mean, all sorts of average ones. Our named captains are probably all uh, starting to retire out in bits and pieces. Uh, as I said previously, I'm just going to leave them as they are for just now. When we start our next war, I'm going to refresh this um, and I'll pick probably our, our, a nice fresh selection of low ranked, hopefully skillful um, officers and, and shuffle all the names around. So we've got continued to generate our own stories with our captains. Uh, and even those who have uh, perished in recent episodes might be able to come back uh, reincarnated in, in a Mark II uh, model. Ooh, central firing. That would be nice. Ooh, minus one 12 inch guns. That is exciting. I think we're using 12 inches in our Alejandros, are we not? We are indeed. Now, as we've talked about before, and it's so probably my opportunity to. Okay, oh, I thought I was about to be proven wildly wrong there. Uh, this is my opportunity to prove it, that you cannot upgrade quality 2-inch guns. I was worried I'd been uh, parroting a fact I'd heard without actually having tested it. Okay, good. Well, not good, actually, because I really wanted quality 1 rather than quality minus 2. Um, here's a much of a, an improvement. In fact, we can look at that. So if we go, say, design ship. Um, Pre-dreadnoughts, that's fine. Jump up to quality 2. 12s, uh, yeah, okay, look at the gun, the gun data. This might be awkward because we'll have to open another one. I have to, I have to do some remembering here. Uh, but let's, I don't know, pick a range, say 6,000 yards. We're punching through 12 inches of belt, roughly, at 6,000 yards with a maximum range of 12 and a half. Okay, then if we look at our Alejandros here, look at the gun data for the minus two. At 6,000 yards, we're only punching through 10 and a half. So that's that's quite a sizable change. Um, okay, the maximum range hasn't been affected too much, but about 1,000 yards. But yeah, that's a, a couple of extra inches of armor you can punch through with that increased quality of guns. But we won't, we won't be getting those for a while, I don't think, because our uh, budget is somewhat spent. I was worrying if we're starting to develop that tech, so is our enemies. Okay, all lots of new destroyers. A disarmament conference is being held in The Hague. What are your recommendations to the delegation? Huh. Let's have a quick squeeze of the almanac, shall we? So, who is currently building big ships? Um, okay, there's a few, a few underway. Not huge numbers, so a couple for Italy, a couple for France, da 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 da. And even on the heavy cruisers, which might be affected by this, again, Britain's got a few and everyone else has one or two. So no one's doing a mass rebuild. Now we do have one building. Um but I'm not I'm not that uh in love with it, shall we say. If it got scrapped through an armament conference, I'd kind of be okay with it. Uh yes, we'll have wasted a chunk of money on it, but um but we know there's a much better weaponry available, so we probably would rather quietly forget about that and build a better one in the future. Um oh my god. 50, 50 pre dreadnoughts. <laughs> okay, let's not look at that. Uh, how do I feel about where would it put us against our competition? So it would mean that anyone who's built bigger ships than us now keeps that advantage. That being said, I don't think we're really in a position to modernize our battle line any further because we've just spent a bunch of money on new battleships, even though they're not particularly, you know, maybe not the best tech anymore. Um, I would like some more heavy cruisers, but we could probably work with the limitations, get some tree cruisers in the way. Uh, but we may be a, bit, a little disadvantage there in the heavy cruiser range. But I think I think I'm going to go for. It. I like trees; they're a bit of fun. They, they, they add variety, right? I think that makes life interesting. Let's see. Uh, we can live with reductions and disarmament as long as it applies fairly in proportion. Now, this is going to cost me a little bit of budget, a little bit of prestige, a little bit of tension. I'm not. I don't like spending those things, but I think I want to do it because it's going to make. It's going to make life interesting and maybe lead to interesting designs. And I think that's where uh, a chunk of fun can come. Let's do this. Okay. The International Conference has come with a draft for Naval Arms Limitation Treaty. No ships more than 15,000 tons. Okay, I don't care about that. I can barely build more than that. Main caliber guns are restricted to 10 inches. Can we accept this treaty? I think we can. We are going to scrap that one battleship. But as I said, I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, and then we could maybe even do some 10 inch heavy cruisers. I think we can accept this. Let's see what gets scrapped. 
boat was not over yet. The displacement limit is set to 15,000 tonnes and the calibre limit is set to 10 inches. According to the draft treaty, we will be limited to a total tonnage of 150,000 tonnes. Interesting. Oh, I've not played around with the new tonnage limitations. Of which half may be capital ships and aircraft carriers. Now, this is really cool, actually, because this is... um obviously really reflective of modern uh, modern life, of real life treaties, where not only was there limitations on uh, main armament, etc., there was strict limitations on total uh, total tonnage of ships and numbers of, of um, yeah, battleships and carriers and how they, well, not carriers, but battleships, and how they related to, and how various navies related to each other, um, to, to, you know, so that those in the primary position, kind of Britain and US, etc., could keep that without having been... Um, uh, without leading to like a naval arms race. Okay, our current total tonnage is 100, ooh, 184,100. I don't like the idea, well, well, so I would have to go up 30, 34,000 tons of ship. Actually, that's, that's quite a lot. Um, but we would just, there's a couple of older battleships we could absolutely scrap for about 20,000 tons. And I'd probably get rid of those three, three, four and a half thousand heavy cruisers to make up the rest. That would would restrict us on what new stuff we built, but that's interesting. Um, let's quick look at the Almanac. Oh, here we go. Perfect. It's even on this page, that on this quality of life. So we'd have to give up 30,000 tons. Germany has got to give up 70. Austro Hungary is about 40. Britain is 200,000 tons of ships they've got to scrap. I quite like the sound of that. Um, Italy's got scrapped at 50,000. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Why? How come my treaty limit is less than China? <laughs> Why am I so being whipped here? So I think by and large we could get away with it if it wasn't. I feel like it's disproportionately hurting us. So let's say we need a higher tonnage limit. Emergency for other numbers change as well. Uh, okay, 170,000 tons. And everyone else, I think, has gone up a little bit, but proportionally, I think, we've come ahead. So they've gone up, yeah. So Britain, for example, went from 940 to 990. So that is 50,000, whereas we've gone from 150 to 170. Um... But obviously, 20,000 as a percentage of 150 is much bigger than 50,000 as a percentage of 940. So we have closed the gap. I'm still not happy about being the world's whipping boy. But I think this is, this is doable and may lead some interesting things is happening. Okay. This is quite fun. Uh, how long? 20, 23 years. I mean, what's going to happen in reality is we're going to have a war long before the treaty expires and that nullifies treaty so the duration is absolutely fine we can <laughs> we can go i hate it and not doing it we can extend the time or we can accept it i'm gonna accept it this is interesting peace in our time okay 23 years that's a that's an impressive duration small ships small guns uh and we're limited to 170,000 tons okay i don't get to choose That's upsetting. I've, I feel like that's uh, a step that we've missed. I feel like we should definitely have been able to choose which ships we scrap. Uh, I can't remember which one of the Mancy is. I will check that off the top of my head. Uh, sorry, afterwards. So we, shopped, we, we scrapped a battleship. Italy have only scrapped one battleship. Surprising. France have scrapped two. France has scrapped one. And that's it. Oh, yeah, so that's just the stuff we've built. Um, but what about a tonnage? Because everyone's massively over the limit. Talk to me, game. Does it just mean I can't build anything? I went to uh, build chip. Just for example, sure, if I say, okay, you're going to say no, you can't do it? Yeah, treaty locations. Uh, even what about destroyer? 
No, you'll let me build a new one, even though I'm over the, the tree limits. Well, tell me, game. Uh, tell me, what is the, what's the impact? Why, why do I care about tree limits, then? We can, we can cheat, that's nice to know. Yeah, this is interesting. So we've now the one we just scrapped, uh, ships sh scrapped or sunk was the one of the Rihanna Donna Isabel the second, which yeah, okay, indeed the one. So that's fine. I'm okay with the the ship they scrapped. Ah, oh, you are in a terrible way. I'd like to get rid of these both as well. To be perfectly honest, I don't think they're any good. All right, I'm not going to do anything yet. I want to see how this plays out. Presumably, we must get some impact by saying, "Hey, you're over your treaty limit." Stop it. Uh, I'm also going to build up a little bit of money before we perhaps look at building some new cruisers. Or we may have to play around with our tonnage a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Ask and you shall be answered. Not problem. We have to scrap on ships. That's fine. I'm just going to get rid of... Uh, don't want to get rid of both of those right now. No, I think I'll get rid of one of you. Scrap. Um, oh, even a little bit of money. And let's get rid of one of these in Santa Maria Terriz. I think we talked about being kind of colonialist things, but we'll get rid of that. Okay, good. We are... I didn't do the math properly. I'm going to want to free up some headroom anyway. So the polygon result is in scrapping all three of those and the Ferdinand the Seventh. Let's just get rid of them both. Right. I like this push to, hey, get rid of your ships. Uh, the Cristobal Colón with her impressive battle rep record. Oh, now I feel quite sad about scrapping her. A museum ship. Let's do it. Just each. Navy establishment suggests that the aqua tank could be expended for gunnery practice. Perfect. Definitely do not need the scrap money. Gunnery in the Navy. Beautiful. Oh, speaking of which... Uh, if I go to, where am I going? Doctrines, thoughts, torpedoes, and gunnery. Apply. I wonder why I can't select damage control now. Not sure. Okay, anyway, do that, please. Good. Um, yeah, my battle division doesn't really exist anymore, so we should probably get that changed. Let's do that. Let's go to our division editor. Let's go to our battle division. Add some ships. Really, it's going to be everyone bar. I mean, we can actually probably kick out. Well, there's no point kicking you. You have the same speed. That's fine. Destroyers, we've got, they're all 27 knots, so working. I'm fairly happy to mix and match, but let's put a destroyer division here. Let's grab, let's see, six of you. We can beef up this one with the ones that are left. Okay, so we've got kind of two six ship destroyer divisions. I'm happy with that. We've got one three ship division for our heavy cruisers. Okay, oh, again, starting to slow down. Oh, it's brutal, these slowdowns. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, treat damage to 100 Yeah, so I have some. I have these minus numbers were upsetting, but yeah, I have a small amount of space at the minute. Much, actually. Yes, yeah, so we'll probably have to ditch a few more for when we want to build a few new heavy cruisers, which I'm okay with. It kind of forces you to modernize the Navy. I think it's interesting. All right, let's advance time a little bit. Ooh, some destroyers. <laughs> Here we go. So Germany has just scrapped uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine cruisers. Austro-Hungary scrapped a whole bunch of heavy cruisers, some corvettes, some lights. Britain has had to scrap... Oh, look at all these um, dreadnoughts, pre-dreadnoughts, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten battleships just got scrapped. 
I mean, even Italy had to scrap a battleship. Cool. Blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, uh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff just got scrapped. But obviously, they have the opportunity to modernize their navy a little bit as well, and we'll be saving money and all that interesting stuff. I think it's cool. This is what kind of changes things up a little bit. So, have a look at Almac now. Everyone should be happily within their treaty limits. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, people, anyone else want to spy? I mean, I would like to spy on Britain, but I don't want to start a fight with them. Spy on the USA. They've got tech. So I want to spy on China to start a fight, and I want to spy on Japan to steal their tech. Uh, oh, sorry, USA to steal their tech. And Japan I'll have a fight with as well. I'm okay with that. Good. Right, let's build up a little bit of war chest, and then we'll maybe look at some heavy cruiser designs. Oh, that doesn't stop people building ships, though. There's a couple of new heavy cruisers going down there. No. Okay. Of course, Britain just gets have a has a concession from China. No problem. Why? Why should they all get concessions and not me? So anti-Spanish, right? We, you're going to sell some tech. I will take it. Always take the tech. Machinery rate savings. I like that. Right. So we've got rebellion in Cuba. We do have, I mean, we have some defensive guns. We should probably, let's send some ships out there. Again, I am not 100% sure whether this makes any difference whatsoever. Let's send out, who should we send out? Well, let's put uh, maybe a heavy cruiser and a couple of light cruisers. That seems like a reasonable fleet to go and deal with some rebellions. You guys head out to the Caribbean. This may simply be a waste of money on maintenance, but we'll send them out there. I'm going to be super upset if we lose the, lose Cuba. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, destroyers are now put them in reserve, probably. The Prime Minister floats value of a gunnery competition for all ships in the Navy. He believes it will increase morale and combat readiness. Holding such competition will increase maintenance costs for a month. The money's pretty good right now, so yeah, let's go for it. Ah, the Real Familia wins the Prime Minister's Cup. Excellent. Okay, so our ships are out there. Whether that makes it or not, I don't know. Uh, makes sense that you guys won. You are the elite crew. Okay. Uh, those new destroyers that came in. You guys can all sit on reserve fleet, perfectly honest. Let's get up to maybe about 30k and then we'll design ourselves a ship. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, please. Thank you. Are you kidding me? <sighs> why does this, why? This is like the worst run I've ever had in Roller Waves. Oh, look, we've kept Guantanamo Bay. Right, <clears throat> so there was what, it's about a million we lost off our budget there, and we can't get it back because you cannot invade neutral territories. I wonder if any of this is um, scripted, I don't think any of it is, but it would make sense, Cuban rebels against Spain, but anyway. Uh, let me look at who is in Caribbean, and would you please come home? On the plus side, we now have spare vets because we don't need all these chaps on foreign stations. Oh, you're also obs all, all obsolete as well. Let's bring everyone home. We'll probably have to stick some cruises on foreign stations just to cover the requirements while they're coming around, but let's bring everyone back and we can do a kind of a map. Uh, yeah, I'll wait till they're home. I think it's next turn. I'll end up with a flag of not enough ships on foreign stations. Okay. Submarines. Okay, that's good. I haven't really gone into building submarines. That's something we could do is just go a mass submarine build, especially if there's a, a treaty on. But I, I want a couple of cruisers first, and then I think we'll, we'll maybe look at 
Uh, okay, so we do need 12,000 tons, so let's go to uh, probably our light cruisers. We'll just employ... ...all of our Neptunals on foreign stuff. And then once everyone's home, we'll rebuild those Corvettes and send them back out. A little bit of maintenance, but that's fine. Okay, we're at 20k, let's keep going. Probably, actually, I'll do it a little bit sooner, because... Once you get to half our budget, they can come take money off you, which we don't want. You're going to sell us the rights to some guns. Now, I don't really, I'm not interested in 13-inch quality two guns, to be perfectly honest, but if we have the tech already, we won't have to research it, so thank you. And that spends a bunch of our money. Okay, uh, yeah, no, we can... We can get going. Are we ready for Corvette rebuild? No, not quite. They're still. Oh no, that's our light cruisers. Corvettes? Yes, we are. So let's look at this class. Needs a rebuild, and to be honest, it's going to be a lick of paint. I don't think we've got any of the uh, AS the ASW stuff yet. Fresh paint, off you go. I don't care about really anything else on you. Yep. 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 Yes, should be fairly cheap. Uh, and you guys, who I think might have all been in Northern Europe anyway. Good. Excellent. Okay, a bit of an industrial boom. I like that. Peace in the world doing uh, good for industry. Austral hungry. I mean, I think I. Oh, I was going to say, I think I can tackle you without a problem. Indeed we can. Uh, what I would like to look at is this. I've forgotten about the web of alliances. So you are currently allied to Germany. That makes life difficult. Yeah, and well, we could, you know, us in Germany, us in France versus austro hungary Germany would be an interesting fight. But... Um, I'm maybe not going to pursue a war with them. Now, we've got no tension, so taking this is absolutely fine. It's not going to push us through the roof. Uh, but um, you need to keep an eye on that future. Okay, some more tech stuff. Right, we're at 20k. Let's look at that. We don't... So we've we've got 7,500 tons. Uh, I think I'm quite happy to get rid of the Arena Don Isabel II which would free up to about 17,000 tons, and probably also the Pedro de Aragon, which would give us up to 23,000 tons, is that right? 17, 23, 23,900. Um, potentially we could also scrap all of these Corvettes for an extra couple of thousand tons, if we needed that. Um, yeah, so like, cause I'm thinking 24,000 tons would give us another three 8,000 ton cruisers. I think somewhere, you know, it's a pretty good weight for a heavy cruiser at this stage. Let's maybe have a look at what they look like. Before we do that, I want a quick check of these ones, just to remind ourselves what the what the design is. These 21 knots, 8-inch uh, guns, 2 inches of belt. Oh yeah, we, we would want a little bit more belt. But we have had a few texts since then. So, let's go back in. Let's look at our army cruisers. Design. Wow, you are really, really going for it. <laughs> you want to build a 14,000 ton armored cruiser. I mean, it's ambitious. It's probably too much. I think I'd rather have more hulls. Also helps us with... Um, the blockade numbers. So let's bring this down. What if I did an 8,000 one? You're gonna, are you just going to change again? Right, no matter. Okay, no problem. Let's start. I mean, I do like kind of bigger ships, but I think we need a few more crews here. So if we went 8,000 tons, um, I would like 8-inch guns on these. I do not like your wing turrets you've added. Get rid of those. Those. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, no, we talked about going up to 10 inches. That's what we wanted to do. 
which we may have come up with the displacement just to be able to, to make this work. Uh, and we, I mean, the six inch quality one is not terrible. And we will be able to upgrade these eventually. We could certainly keep that. Uh, yeah, let's go on to say 10,000 tons. Means we're only going to get two of them. There's our current speed looking. They're all struggling at 20 knots. Uh, let's bring it down to say five. Yeah, we're still a little bit shy on the old weight here. So extended up about, I mean, coin tower. Well, turrets of six and a turret top pulling a little bit more. It's saving the guns, nah, pulling quite so much in those. We can bring them down to three, but again, we are struggling with the weight, and you probably have to pop it down. I don't, how much slower do you want to go? I mean, 20 knots is the speed of our current light cruiser, so bringing them down to a, a kind of 21 is probably due. So although I had been talking about trying to get three 8,000 tons, and now we've rocked all the way up to 10,000 tons, and we're probably gonna have to go slightly bigger if we wanna keep this speed. Uh, if we got to 5,000 tons, what's that give me? I'm only getting me 200. Gets me 300, May maybe work with 11,000. Or even 11 and a half, it's only getting us 21 knots. Yeah, that's massive. Um, I mean, so I'm slightly worried about build, overbuilding these, you know, especially compared to, to our actual battleships. The other one is the more hulls you have, the better it works for blockade points. However, I was also thinking about, well, where does this sit in, in terms of, well, one, the game world, so I'll have to check that on Mac, but also reality. So are we 1904? So in terms of what armoured cruisers turn of a century, um... So if you look to what the the uh, I suppose World War One you have hard cruisers. So like the the Germans laid down what Scharnhorst and Gneisenau, the original ones, um, or the World War One ones anyway. At this stage, they were I think they were they were about this about eleven thousand tons displacement. Be, I think they had a slightly smaller armament, made more more eight inch guns, and then so you know that's that's. On a par, where we've slightly smaller, larger caliber guns, and then and then on the British side of things at this era, you had things like uh, Edinburgh Duke of Edinburgh class, and the Drake class, which I think was about fourteen thousand tons. Albeit they used their nine point two inch caliber naval guns, so again slightly smaller armament. But in terms of overall displacement for this era. Actually, coming up to this kind of eleven and a half thousand ton mark is not ridiculous. It just seems silly because our big ships are very small big ships. So you might end up saying this. The other question is: Is it is it worth it to come up to this? So you say, well, you know, for this one knot of speed, it's costing me four hundred tons, and for these, you know, I'm I'm putting on five hundred tons of displacement. I'm only getting two hundred fifty tons to play around with. So there's a lot of a lot of weight here is being spent on engine. No. Also equates to hit points, it's not the end of the world. Um, oh, we can probably get rid of some of the... I think we'll keep one on each side for just now. I think starboard and port is fine. We said that was, what, 400 tons for that? Uh, no more, 600 tons for that. So we're not going to get the 22 knots, it's just too expensive. I don't want to spend 600 tons to get to 22 knots. We'll keep it at 21. It will... Well, it would have brought some line with the Emperado, Emperor Carlos V, although they have now slowed down because they're old. We'll stick with 21 knots for our heavy cruisers at the moment. Um, and it may mean we can actually potentially either, yeah, we could potentially come down to 11,000 tons. Which might be where we end up. Uh, although, we probably want to try and bring a little bit more of rounds and probably a little bit more rounds here. Tertiaries we can play around with later. Do I have torpedo defense? Uh, check design. No. Torpedo mounts missiles cups are not balanced. Mount seven. There we go. 
that'll, that should work. Uh, that's fine. I don't think we're going to do colonial service for these ones. Uh, oh, I want to check. I don't believe I've got any better armament. Oh no, I'm up to that already. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be a potato cruiser and yeah, flat deck and top belt. I don't think so. No. Okay, that's fine. So where's that leave us? A little bit shy, but pretty darn close. Fire control positions too. Central range finder, fringe finder is fine. So what can I do? Well, we could come up. Couple hundred tons, which is probably fine. But we could bring her up to the uh, eleven thousand five hundred, and then we could throw in a bunch of uh, tertiaries. We could even go. Oh, we already have sixteen tertiaries. We could have another sixteen four-inch guns. That's pretty good. Uh, can I have you in turrets? Yes, but I get a big penalty of rate of fire which may not be the worst thing in the world to give you that better um okay you're not showing me same return to the better uh aiming ability let's bring you down to say 200 Okay, and that's us pretty much there. All right, I can get on board with this. We've got kind of nice big main guns, six inch guns as, as singles. They're okay. I think good for kind of punching out maybe light cruisers and things. Then we've got a whole bunch of four inches for taking out destroyers and other bits and pieces. All right, I'm I'm kind of getting behind this. Let's call these the Mallorca class. Well, I'd probably just refer to him as Mallorca because for anglicised variant of it. And yeah, I think that'll do. And I think these are these are a significant improvement over what we've currently got. Only thing I would like them probably be, it would be a bit faster, but say levy. Let's lock it in. Cool. I'll accept the rate of fire penalty for just now. Uh, yes, three months. Perfect. Three million. Things are expensive. So I do want a quick check. Uh, so we, we talked about reality and the, and the British and German ships. I don't. I, I have no idea what the Spanish army cruisers were doing at this time in the world. Um, what are you building in game? Do we have any info on the Magdeburg? Well, 12,000 tons is all we know. Okay. You've got... We kind of see we've got form here, actually. Uh, Britain, your heavy cruisers. There you go, fourteen thousand. That's almost like the um, the Drake class, I think. And you've gone up to ten inch guns, four by ten inch guns, fourteen times six segments. Ah, you are building them chunky, Britain. No case mated. Yeah, twenty. Oh man, it's just it's just better, <laughs> faster. Same armament, it's slightly faster, it's got better, more secondaries, I mean, it's heavier. Things you can do with better tech and uh, more money, I suspect. I mean, you've brought these ones down a little bit. So he goes, this is, uh, you know, 500 tons out or 800 tons out. And where we've got eight, six inches, they've got 14, seven inches. And they've still got the five inch belt. Building nice ships there, Britain. You are going to be a challenge to tussle with. But they are, they have, they'll have all, obviously got all the tech advantages, which means you can squeeze more things in. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to say that's good enough. I'm sure it'll, it'll aid us in the fight. My only concern is really our blockade value and what trouble that causes as we go forward. I didn't even know there was a crisis. Good to know. Internal people in Morocco, we could send an expeditionary force to restore order and we might take it over. Which sea zone is Morocco in? Let's do it. 
Oh, I'm still feeling the loss of Cuba. Hey. Well, we now have Morocco, which is in. Are you counting as the med? Do do do. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ah, Morocco. So that's actually a pain in the bum because it means we're going to have to put some ships into West Africa area, but we can just throw a, a, a corvette in. That should be fine. Speaking of which, they would probably finish their rebuild a long time ago. No, it's not. I haven't done it yet. Progressing time very quickly. Right, let's do that. Okay, we've got new tactics. Oil in Bougainville. Okay. Would everyone please stop building mass alliances? Do you know, I wouldn't mind the alliance chain so much if you could actually rely on your allies. The fact that France left us fighting alone for ages is kind of was irksome. Okay, so we probably don't want to fight a war with Japan now. Well, let's just ditch that. I do, I still want to be up China. Quite badly. Um, is that Bougainville there? Yeah. We've got some oil, that's good. We have our covets back, so we can shuffle them around the place, I believe. Uh, all of various foreign station. Well, this was the biggest one. Foreign station tonnage requirement was present. Both of these were each giving us a value of. No, it's not. It was these ones. Two thousand. So three of those. Off you go to the Philippines. Which is Southeast Asia. You can't even see on your screen because I'm alone. Southeast Asia, there we go. You need 6,000, that's no problem. You need anything, I can't know. You're still zero, that's lovely. Uh, you will be not very much now. Oh, you still need 6,000. Okay. Next three of you, off you go to Caribbean. And then presumably West Africa needs. A little something something. Oh, 4,000. Oh, surprising Morocco needs so much, actually. Value of four, okay. Five interest. What value was Cuba? Six, yeah, yeah. No, we still have lost out. <laughs> oh, we need some more cavettes, actually. Well, we've got these guys as well, actually, at the top. Let's take you two and one of you. If I can close. Things. Um. Right, do you know what? Let's just take you three, just so we're nice and organised. Even though one of them doesn't have the the extra boost, uh, you're going to go to West Africa. Uh much leaves me a couple spare, which we can do for replacements, or I don't know, in case we get some more land. So let's just go for a turn. Make sure that all works. These light cruiser, lots of five-inch guns. Nippy, very nippy actually, I'll give them that. Um, now we got a 1% saving on weight, I don't really think it's going to change much, let's just go to the build sheen, screen, I would like two of them please. We can absolutely afford this. And yeah, let's go. Have the Mallorca and we are naming after people, but no, let's go for the Mallorca and the Norca. Minorca, as we would anglicize it to be. To the, the two Balearic Isles, which most people probably know about, but I'll mention it anyway. Um, and there we go. So did we get a couple more corvettes there? Just our ASW ones. Yeah, okay. Oh no, we've still got one, two, three, four, five. Six spare of our foreign station ones. Okay. Or times when we were dreaming of expanding our empire. A spy from Italy was discovered. Well, I still think you have a... Is it just you in America again? Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, I mean, as long as France joined in, I would be okay with that. Let's stir the pot a little bit. Go defensive minefields, fine. 
going through something with these ships we're building, although they take forever because of our undeveloped shipbuilding uh, industry. Two years. So that's closing in on three quarters of an hour. Uh, that's not great. We'll probably draw this to close fairly soon. Hmm. Italy. No, I think I'm okay fighting Italy in the US. It worked fairly well last time. They can't even invade Cuba anymore because I don't have it. Uh, you know. So really, I think... No, I'm not interested in peace with Italy. I wouldn't mind fighting them again. Still things I can get from, from, from that war. Okay, I would, would love central firing. I can refit all my ships. Uh, anyone else issues with obsoleteness? Nope, no. Fine. Good. We're losing a bit of money, but I think we can afford it. Steel and Steel is a stronger navy. We want you to help convince the primaries to increase naval expenditure. Absolutely. Okay, half their deficit. It's nice to see. World is still relatively peaceful. And I don't think we've seen, oh, hello, um, any AI wars. Hello. Oh, it's a bit of a good time maybe to be a post stronger again. Um, what is our recommendations against Italy? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to throw that pot if need be. Ooh, quality zero 11 inch guns. Do I have anyone that uses 11 inch guns? No. Oh, I mainly stick to the even uh, um, calibers for whatever reason. 12s, 8s, 10s, 6s. Got the 7, the Pedro Darragon in there. Okay. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Um, oh no, I'm going to bring this to a close. Uh, you want to reduce finance for the Navy and build a new, pal a new palace and a luxury what yacht. What are you on about? Fire control? Fire control. Don't want a war just yet. What I want to do, and I've got a little bit of money, is fire control. Okay. I'm going to start with my cruisers because they tend to see a lot of action. Let's go to rebuild. Uh, got excited. I'm supposed to be ending this right. But let's rock up to central firing. Nine. We can deal with nine. I think that's fine for overweightness. Don't think there's any other changes we want to make. Uh, they're all quality zero. I'll have your four tubes. That's fine. Okay. The only other one would be if we wanted to go crazy and refit their machinery. Uh, I'm probably going to cancel this, but would you do anything? Would it do anything for us? I guess it's 300 tons. Is that not to make it enough to make it not faster? Oh. Wow, we can actually retrofit you to be 22 knots. That's interesting. At what cost? 30 million. That seems no at 10 million. It does seem expensive, and it's giving us two knots. So it's gone from 20 knots to 22. I'm not sure it's worth 10 million at this stage of proceedings. Not to mention we can't afford it. So let's come at that. But we'll rebuild them just with fire control. No, oh, it shouldn't take, only take a few months. And um, we'll just deal with the 20 knots. Let's see, finish. Fine. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Could we... Oh, you guys need to come home. Back to Northern Europe. I want to put the other things through it as well. Uh, don't want to do that now. A bit, a bit risky if war breaks out. Oh, wrong one. 
I would I really want to have the best fire control I can get my hands on. Um Okay. So are we still quality one for minus one for all this stuff? Yeah. Mm, okay. That's fine, it should be fairly cheap. So and we might as well do the Glacius and she's here as well. Every time. Yeah, badly overweight now. I mean, it's not huge, but still. I could give you better guns, actually. Oh, no, I can't. I thought I had quality zero six inches. Never mind. Okay, uh, and then with the big, big boys, we can think about... You are probably going to get scrapped shortly, so I might not bother with you. Uh, it might be worthwhile starting with this one, and then I'll probably stop there. We're just doing rebuild. Let's go up to central wiring, and I'll probably try and do the uh, Alejandro's all in one big go. Okay, yard, please. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's, that's quite a nice improvement in our gunnery accuracy. It's not going to take very long for those to come out um, and will help us if war breaks out in Italy and ourselves. Or maybe if we ever, ever get our war in China because everyone else is getting a piece of a Chinese pie not even without, without even fighting for it, and yet we are not. Say la vie. Okay, we're going to there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. As ever, let's leave your thoughts down below and we'll catch you all on the next one. Cheerio!